Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrappin' 2. Today I'm going to be making a card for the Paper Smooches Sparks Challenge. And I'm going to be using these um, snowmen's um, that I already um, stamped and cut using my scan and cut. And I'm going to be using this. This is a uh, um, freeze, Freezy Fellas. And then I also have this die that I cut out using the MFT's um, square cover-up die. And then I have a piece of vellum cut using that so it can be the same size as this. And then I also have a design paper. This is another Stampin' Ups um, paper from last year. And I wanted to mute it down to make it look like snow in the back. So I, that's why I have the vellum, you see, like that. So I have these aside and I have a regular A2 size um, card base already cut. And I have um, cut already these uh, snow banks using um, the Lawn Fawns um, snow banks but I didn't use the ones with the stitch I used the one without um, actually well I used the um, negative I guess portion of it if that's um, what you call it because it doesn't have the um, stitch border like the rest you see that I'm not using the going to use the one without it. So I'm adding some color using the Distress Inks and I'm using Tumble Glass and I'm going to put just a little bit of color on these snow banks. Not too much, just a little. To make it look subtle. And then now I'm going to be coloring the snowmans. Um, I'm using W1 and W3 and the colorless blender. It's really a uh, simple coloring. So I, I went in and made the shadow by um, using W3. And then I um, pulled it out a little bit more with W1 and then I'm blending out the whole thing, softening it out with the colorless blender. Because I want the snowmans to appear white, so I just want to only add a little bit of color. Pretty easy to color. These are super cute. And then for their carrot nose, I'm using um, two shades. I think it's a, a dark yellow and a medium yellow. And I'm putting some highlights at the top of their nose. And for here, um, the hat and the scarf, I'm using R89, R29, and R24. And I, again, um, start with my darkest and then work my way to my lightest. And then if I need to, I go back with my darkest and um, medium and light. So for this part, I'm just using the same color as a snowman. And then um, for the green, I'm just using two greens. So very uh, simple, fast coloring. So now that uh, that's done, um, I have this um, My Favorite Things, the um, square grid panel, and I'm using this as a window. So I'm attaching the snow banks to this window. Sorry if you hear like crunching noises in the back, my dog is eating. And so, um, I'm attaching all four and then once that's done 
I kind of put it together and um, I'm putting some pencil marks on the last tail so I know where the last tail um, is gonna lay in the back panel and then I cut off all the excess and this is how this it's gonna um, look so here I'm putting some adhesive on this to attach to the vellum sorry um, you missed the part it, my camera died and I didn't know so what I did was um, I put the snowman's behind the um, window and then I attached the vellum and then I uh, um, put foam adhesive um, just along um, the top portion of the last snowbank that you see in the back just to give a slight dimension and then I'm using uh, some washi tape and I'm going to seal it all up all four sides and um, that's going to create um, like a semi shaker portion so the vellum um, served uh, two purposes to mute down the uh, mute uh, the background paper and also it's gonna be um, my shaker portion as well and I put in uh, some sequins that I selected um, I selected uh, um, blues um, and silvers and I put some big chunk big big confettis in there as well so you can see it better and then I'm going to attach this whole panel to my A2 size card base and I'm putting lots of adhesive and there is this semi shaker portion that you see in the back and so I'm putting foam adhesive on the uh, largest um, snowman and he's gonna be right there here I stamped out um, the sentiment that says no peeking in two colors and I punched it out using the Stampin' Up's uh, large um, scallop die oval scallop oval and here I'm putting in some details this is a black um, sakura jelly pens and um, I'm putting some dots and then uh, highlighting their eyes and their mouth and then here I'm um, this I decided I want a pom-pom on the top of this um, uh, hat but it was like way too big so I cut it in half but the, it all fell apart um, so here I'm just putting um, some uh, glossy accents and then I'm going to um, put that big pom-pom on his um, top of his um, hat it's a little extreme but <laughs> um, I wanted something there <laughs> it looks funny but this is my card for today um, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.